My dad was always my safety net. I never imagined my life without him. He loved kids. I regret that he never had grandkids, but you saw it with this little fur baby, how much he loved kids. Woke up at 7 a.m. and all I heard was, oh, come here, little baby, come here, little baby. And I thought, what the hell is he talking to? And went down and saw him kissing and cuddling Luigi. And I was like, this is a man with a lot of love to give. There was no place like home for dad. And home was where his family was and friends. And he's got a huge group of friends. When he passed away, we had hundreds and hundreds of people coming to the house. A very happy and funny man. A horrendous laugh as well. I miss it. I miss his laugh. When they told us there's no, no options left, I think the first thing straight away, we said, in fact, OK, well, let's get organ donation. The difficult news we had that day, two other people were getting phenomenal news that they'd been waiting for. So there's some balance and karma in the world. That felt normal to us. It just felt like someone's got to benefit from this in the end of the day. And uh, it's not us, so why not someone else? It is something people should talk about because you never know when something's going to happen. At least if you've had that discussion, you know the person's own individual wishes. He helped two people directly, but you can't measure how many other people along the road who have now had conversations from knowing that he was a donor. None of it really makes sense, but the only thing that did make sense was this. If you are in that situation, there's very little positive to take, but here is a positive. Here's a chance to do something good right when everything else feels bad. And, and for, the, for the donor themselves and, and even for the family, you know, it, it, there's some solace in that. So I, I would really encourage everyone to have that conversation. Mm -hmm.